Hello, it's Tim Morris from Cincinnati State Community College. Let's do a Airworthiness Directive or AD search. I'm going to go to the FAA website and that's what we're going to do. I typed in FAA.gov, Google found it for me, so here's the FAA or the FAA Federal Aviation Administration. I just searched for it. The top right hand corner, there's a box that says FAA for you. I'm going to put my cursor on it and I'm going to go to mechanics because I'm a mechanic. Everything, everything an aircraft mechanic wants is on this page if the FAA, if the FAA has it. Scrolling down under safety and advisory alerts we find airworthiness directives. So I'm going to click on this link. This takes us to the airworthiness directives page. On the left I have a search box so I can search for the uh, aircraft or the engine or the propeller, that's what uh, we can find AD notes on. Also on all kinds of things, seat belts, uh, air filters, uh, there's several different appliances uh, that have airworthiness directives. The first thing I notice here is there's one that says emergency ADs in the last 30 days. So when I'm doing a, a search, I always search the emergency ADs first and you can see here that there are no current emergency ADs. These are uh, these are the really bad things that happen that the FAA says ground these aircraft immediately or look for cracks or something that's going to get somebody hurt. So there's no emergency ADs. I also look for new ADs in the last 60 days. So if I click on that, uh, today I'm going to be looking for the Cessna 150D and for a um, Continental Engine C90 and for a Macaulay propeller. But I will look through this and make sure that the Cessna 150 is not on this list. Uh, the next thing I can do is I can either type in, uh, I'm going to type in C150 and see what happens, C150D. Uh, I could look up the manufacturer which happens to be Textron now, uh, but you have to know the manufacturer. So let's see if I search for Cessna 150D, what if it, if it comes up with anything. Okay, it didn't find anything, but what I could do is I could, um, let's type in, let's go down here to buy make and just see how that works. I'm going to go over here to up above to the letter T for Textron. And if I go down here a little bit, Textron Aviation Incorporated, there's Textron Lie coming. If I look at there, hey Textron Aviation, I click that down arrow and here's my Cessna 150D. So let's click that and here are all the airworthiness directives that they're showing for the Cessna 150D. Now uh, I was talking about air filter assemblies. Let's look at an airworthiness directive here on air filters. This was issued against, this is a bracket air filter is what this is. And these guys made, um, you can read the information. Sometimes we'll find an icon and we click on the icon and we can look at the airworthiness directive by clicking on the icon. But, okay, so here we had a Airworthiness Directive on the Cessna 150D model. Uh, here's all my different AD notes. That's one way to do it. Now, let's look for the Continental Engine. Um, let's type in C... I'm going to type in C-90, see what happens. It might just be C-90. Okay, it brought some stuff up. Here we go. Down here about the middle. 49501 Continental C-90. So here is, uh, now maybe I don't know the manufacturer who, who currently has the type certificate data sheet, but this is one way I can do it. Let's try going by make, and we're going to say continental. We're going to look for the C. And somewhere down here is continental. I want to try continental motors. We just got to keep pecking around until we find it. Okay, here's our C90. Uh, this happens to be a C90-12F of the engine I'm looking at. So you need to know your your model number. And here are the airworthiness directives on this C90-12F. This is a really good way to do it. So I can click on any of these links. I can print out the airworthiness directive and read it. 
and I need to read it exactly word for word. I need to get it perfect. The stuff has to be identically right. There's all kinds of ways we can go wrong with that. The last thing I'm going to search for is I want to search for a Macaulay propeller. And I'm going to enter in my model number and see what that does. This is a BTM 7359 Macaulay. Let's just see. It said no documents found. So now I'm going to say make and I'm going to go over here to the letter M and we're going to look for Macaulay. There's Macaulay right there. Here's my different ones. I'm looking for, I got to scroll down a lot, I'm looking for the BTM. And I may have gotten it wrong. I may have my serial number wrong. I'm going to click on one just to show you what happens. If I click on this, um, on this particular propeller, there is a AD note 2005-14-11. 2005 is the year it was issued. It was uh, issued in the 14th bi-weekly period. What the FAA does is they take 52 weeks in a year and they divide it into two. So there's 26 bi-weeklies. So, yeah, it's a little bit strange, but it's based on how they used to print these things. They used to print them every two weeks uh, because they, the government office didn't want to do a printing office, printing run every, every week on AD notes. Uh, this was the last number is the 11th AD that came out in this biweekly period. If you click on the link, uh, it'll pull up another page. There's an icon. We can click on the icon, and here's the airworthiness directive. And we can read it. There's the summary. It'll tell us compliance information, uh, how quick you have to take it off the aircraft, etc., etc. So you need to read the whole thing through. I'm Tim Morris with Cincinnati State Community College Airframe and Power Plant Program. Thanks for watching.